education reform, empowering the next generation. My priorities for education is simply the priorities of the President of the Republic and the government of Ghana. And the first is how do we transform our education system uh, to make it perform the job of socioeconomic transformation. So the nexus between education and socioeconomic transformation is my focus. So that we see education as a means to an end and not an end in itself. Parents getting their children educated is important. But what is more critical is the opportunity that it represents uh, or it presents to the government and to the country in order to change the country. And that is why we just don't focus on access, opportunity to go to senior high school or to go to the university or to go to primary or junior high school. But I'm looking at what is the quality of the education that we are providing to the students. What kind of quality will help create the critical minds and the critical manpower that can power the country to upper income status? I think the first thing we need to do, and based on the strategic plans, is begin to realize that if you don't improve your education system, make it fit for purpose, you cannot transform your nation. If we don't have that realization, we'll take everything for granted. So when you hear someone say, why should we do free senior high school, right? That person is not looking at the nexus between education and socioeconomic transformation. So we need as a nation to catch the president's agenda that education transforms. So you can do one district, one factory. If it's not linked up with quality TVET training, that equips the employees with specialized skills. That create an employee who just don't take instruction from the boss but come up with ideas. That's how you transform your country. You want to be able to walk into a company where employees are every day bringing up new ideas to cut down production costs and improve productivity. Consequently, the employee is paying for himself. So we need a new kind of employee and that kind of employee is going to come from a strong and robust education system that truly change the mindset of people for them to feel empowered to know that they are capable of changing the environment where they work at. So the reform is grounded on the premise that a Ghanaian child will see Ghanaian dream which is full of opportunities and not a Ghanaian nightmare. And if we can create that Ghanaian dream that says when you grow up in Ghana, government will support you. If you take advantage of it and lift yourself by your bootstraps, you will succeed in this country, irrespective of which side of the town you were born, whether from the Zungus or from rural areas. And that vision, when it's caught by the children and by teachers and by everyone, then positions education to do the transformation job that it needs to do. And that is why the hidden curriculum is so important. We don't even talk about it. But the hidden curriculum are the messages that are buried in our textbooks, in our cultural practices in schools, that create a student whose mindset is that everything is possible. And when everything is possible, then the education system begins to play its rightful role in the transformation process. When a child reads about Kofi Annan, a story of Kofi Annan by primary three, and begin to understand that there was a young man who grew up in Ghana, called Kofi Annan. He grew up then to become the Secretary General of the United Nations, in effect, the President of the world. That child then looked at himself and said, you know what? I'm growing up in Wale Wale, but one day I can be like Kofi Annan. And that self-awareness and empowerment then takes us to the different level. So education goes beyond what you are studying and sometimes you memorize and then put it down the BEC or WASI for the West African Examination Council and they, they bring you uh, a certificate. No, we have to empower you to understand that everything is possible and that if I'm doing engineering, I'm not going to do engineering that helped me repair cars, but engineering that helped me build cars.
And that is the kind of country we want to create. And that is the vision of the president. And that is the agenda I want to prosecute whilst I'm here as the Minister for Education. Ghana Education Reforms, empowering the next generation.